In this lesson, we will learn about two important methods in Unity scripting, the start and update methods. Before we go through the start and update methods, let's talk about the concept of a frame in Unity. A frame is like a picture in a movie. When you watch a movie, you see many pictures or frames shown one after another very quickly. This creates the illusion of a motion. Similarly, in Unity, when you play a game, you see many frames shown one after another very quickly. This creates the illusion of motion in the game. The frame rate or FPS of a game is a measure of how many new frames it displays every second. So a 60 FPS game is rendering and displaying 60 new images or frames every second. Now, let's move on to the start and update methods. Open the rotate object script file from the previous lesson. The start and update methods are default methods in every Unity class. In Unity, the start method is called on the first frame when a script is enabled just before the update method is called. The update method, on the other hand, is called every frame. The fact that the start method is called once at the beginning and the update method is called every frame makes these two methods very useful. For example, you could use the start method to initialize variables or states before the game starts. You can use the update method to update the game state every frame. For example, you could use the update method to move a character in response to user input. We will go through the structure of methods in the next lessons. But for now, let's do a simple demonstration. Debug.log is a very useful tool that we could use to output messages while the script is running. This is very useful for debugging, which means finding and resolving defects or problems in the code. To use debug.log in your Unity script, simply call it with the message you want to log. Make sure to put the message between double quotation marks. Let's do that. Inside the start method, add the line debug dot log open parentheses double quotation marks start method is called close the quotation mark and close the parentheses then add a semicolon in c sharp the semicolon is used as a statement terminator signifying the end of a statement Inside the update method, add the line debug.log open parentheses double quotation mark update method is called close the quotation mark close the parentheses and semicolon. Save the file by pressing Ctrl and S on your keyboard. Go back to the Unity editor. Make sure the console window is available by going to the window menu, General, Console, or by pressing Ctrl and Shift and C on your keyboard. Drag the console window tab near the project window to dock it there. The console window in Unity editor displays errors, warnings, and other messages generated by the editor and your code, including the message we passed through debug.log methods in the script earlier. Make sure that the console window is in focus. Now, we can press the play button to run the game. By the way, ensure that the play button is not on when modifying things in Unity because changes will not save in the plane mode. So make sure that the play mode is off if you intend to make changes that you would like to stay. If you are making temporary changes just to test something during the play mode, 
then you could have these temporary modifications while the play mode is on. OK, press the play button. Notice that the messages indicate that the start method was called once, while the update method is being called every frame. If you like to display the number of repeated messages instead of one pair line, click the collapse tab. Notice that the start method message is shown once because the start method is called once at the beginning. While the update method messages numbers is growing because the update method is called every frame. Press the play button to stop running the game. To recap, we learn about two important default methods in Unity scripting, the start and update methods.